much. Now, within 24 hours, Amash got a primary challenger. Michigan State Rep Jim Lower, Representative Lower, joins me now exclusively. Um, now, Amash has been uh, in Congress for nearly a decade. So why do you think, uh, Mr. Lower, that you can defeat him over this one comment? Just one comment, just a little I word. Well, there's a lot more that we can we can talk about other than that comment, but it's more than just a comment. He's calling for our president to be impeached, and he doubled down on it today. I saw that he doubled down on those comments, saying that the Mueller report uh, indicated that he should be impeached. There's nobody besides Bob Mueller that would have loved to come out with that conclusion, and even he couldn't come to that conclusion. It's completely ridiculous. You know, at this point, Justin Amash is more in common with Rashida Tlaib than he does the average Republican primary voter in the district. So we are going to beat him on this issue, but we're also going to beat him on the fact that in 10 years in Congress, he's gotten one bill passed, and it was to rename a post office. Completely ineffective. Now, Amash was asked about all this. Let's watch. How do you feel having a primary Oops. opponent now announced against you running after your after your tweets about the tweet? Yeah, it's not serious. So you feel like you're safe for two more years after this? I feel very confident in my district. Very condescending. Uh, it's not serious. <laughs> Are you serious tonight, Mr. Lower? Uh, 100 percent serious. In fact, you know, when votelower.com, that's vote, L-O-W-E-R.com, launched, thousands of dollars started pouring in from all around the district, all around the state of Michigan and throughout the country. So it's a 100 percent serious campaign. I've won uh, hard campaigns in the past, and we're going to win this one, too. Yeah, in the past, by the way, and, and more was written about this today, he's been dogged by his connections with China, his financial interests in China. Chinese uh, companies, and I think that's part of it too. Like the libertarians are fine if, if we have to sell that, sell America out to the to the red Chinese for you know for the like soybeans or for some high tech equipment, then so be it. That's the so called free market. Uh, so I think that's probably going to be another thing that we're going to look into. And uh, I think you're serious, so we wish you all the best. Thanks for being with us tonight. Yeah, you know, and if you look at, he's the only Republican in Congress to have voted against funding for the border wall. He's very weak on immigration issues. He's, oh, he's just weak on, on basic pro-life issues, too. Yeah, he's, on, on no, those he's issues, on, he's on the border on wall. He's terrible on most issues. Yeah, it's, so our, our core platform he's weak on. I'm strong on it, and that's why I'm going to beat him in the fall. All right. Thank you very much.